Here's this week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary. What you guys are seeing on screen here to start is the earthquake counts on Kilauea per week over the last year. So what you're seeing on the right side of the graph is the last week and a half or so, where the graph that cap caught most of last week exceeded 600 earthquakes per week, and when where we are now is approaching 500 earthquakes this week. So really over the last week and a half, we've had about a one an excess of 1,100 events here on Kilauea. Uh, this is across all the levels of the volcano, and we'll break it down a little more in our detailed update here. But the long and short is that the levels of earthquakes on Kilauea are now exceeding what we saw back in January of this year, the levels that preceded the January 2023 eruption of Kilauea summit. So things are really shaken there now. Uh, the volcano is, is certainly pressurizing and swelling and causing earthquakes all around it. You can see that back in the end of uh, December and early January, it took three different three weeks of that elevated level to actually precede the eruption. For the eruption to begin, it began more or less in there. So we could have another week and a half of this coming, possibly ballpark couple weeks, possibly a little more, possibly a little less. Uh, just to note that the levels are reaching high there. This is a little different than last week when we were still down in here and looking at this thing climb. Clearly now you can see that the levels are um, at that threshold there. Not only do we see the high levels of earthquakes, here's a distribution. This is colored by depth, so really the, the population of interest is the summit area right over here where you can see the distribution of earthquakes over the past week, certainly um, pushing all around there for those intermediate depth earthquakes under the summit there. Following that same pattern, here's a tilt for the last, last uh, a month. And what you can see in the last week or so is a steady rise upwards here. Right? The overall pattern has been really since about two weeks ago or so coming upwards with these variations, deflation and inflation cycle is superimposed upon it, but clearly a inflation pattern going on here. The ground is being bulged outwards from magma filling underground uh, in the shallow part of Kilauea there. And even looking a little deeper at the GPS signal, here it is, it's the last year now, but the same pattern. It seems to be expanding. The two sides of the crater are getting further apart, showing that the magma is swelling and building underground there. So Kilauea is at that breaking point. Um, that means that at any point an eruption could resume. It could have a new eruption. You could have an intrusion. All of that could be said to be quote-unquote imminent, right? That means within the next couple of weeks here or so. However, the earthquakes have not been only on Kilauea. Here's a map of the earthquakes for the last week on the island. Um, there is a Kilauea cluster right in here. Our Pahala cluster down in here has been, been flaring as well. But we also have a cluster underneath Mauna Loa Summit that's fairly deep, as well as uh, off of its northeast flank uh, towards Kilauea there. What I'll do here just real quick is put up the list of earthquakes and just go from largest to smallest. To summarize our week here, we've had a 4.2 in Pahala. That was last night at 4.30 p.m. local time. There it is right there. 30 kilometers down, 20 miles down, so one of the deep Pahala earthquakes right there. The next largest in the last week was a 4.1 underneath Volcano Village over here. That was only one kilometer down, half a half mile down. Um, 4.1, very shallow. A lot of shaking, a lot of reports here. People in Volcano Village described how it reminded them of the five-pointer as we saw in 2018, five years ago, where everything was rattling and shaking around. So not the largest magnitude uh, compared to what we saw in 2018, but the shallow depth of it combined with the location made it very uh, impactful for community. Going down the list, the next one we see is a 3.9. That's over here on this upper left side of the map. Um, on this northwest west flank of Mauna Loa. However, beneath it, because this was also down at great depth, 26 kilometers, so down a little less than 20 miles down there as well, uh, showing the, uh, the settling of the island and the flexure of the crust below it there. Those are the, the three largest ones this past week. However, I can scroll down here. There were earthquakes larger than magnitude three, six other ones. There's a Pahala one, another Pahala one. We had a couple over here in this area on the south flank of Kilauea. There's a 3.2 and a 3.1 that happened in the last couple of days. And then we have three O's up here on this flank of Mauna Loa, as well as northwest of Kilauea summit there and there. 
So a little bit of the rundown of the earthquakes, that's the main story this past week. Um, however, looking at Mauna Loa in particular, even though we have those earthquakes on its flank and beneath the summit, the levels are still quite, quite low. So here we are, this is the last year of plots. Earthquakes per week, we're still down and maybe 40 to 50 per week or so here. Nowhere near the levels of building up, so it's still just a kind of a background process on Mauna Loa as it adjusts. And you could consider that Kilauea could be pushing and causing some of those clusters to flare up as well. So that's the Hawaiian Volcano Summary this week.